Now, before we jump into the video, I would like to apologize for the sound. Um, I'm using my phone at the moment. As you know from my previous video, my ex took my camera. Um, and uh, hopefully in future I'll, I'll get a microphone or something to make the sound better. It only happened when I was outside and it was very windy. Also, I'm getting lots of questions on Instagram about the products I'm using to detail the cars, uh, the machine polisher and all that. So I've added all the products in the description below. So make sure you check it out. Welcome back, everyone. Um, sorry, it's a bit windy. Sorry about the noise. Um, finally, after about a week and a half, managed to buy some cars from BCA. Now, I didn't have much luck. And then all of a sudden I bought three cars in one day, which is good. Uh, two of them I tend to be delivered because they had a clean uh, check. Um, but one of them, which is a Mazda 2, um, it says it's got a low um, engine oil. So I'm not too worried about that because he had a MOT not too long ago about four or five months and there were no leaks um, and I hope it's, it was not a dodgy MOT um, yeah I'm just heading to Halfords now uh, buy some oil take it with me and then I'm gonna be traveling to Enfield um, that's where the car is so hopefully I'll manage to get there on time I had to book the slot when I collect the car I'm not sure exactly how that works but it says I have to be there between uh, two and three o'clock and at the moment is 22 past 12 so I think I'm gonna make it it's just showing some delays on the way an incident on one of the lines but uh, yeah just hope the car is alright and it's not gonna break down on the way here it's a very cheap one by the way right so I managed to miss the bus but luckily um, a friend from the garage is giving me a lift to the train station so that saved me some time because uh, I think I'm gonna be a bit late to be fair hopefully they, no, they won't be too fast about the pickup time uh, sorry collection time so yeah let's see how it goes well I'm here now at BCA it was a bit of a journey because the overground uh, it was shut so I had to take a bus around and then I figured out it would be quick and cheaper to get an uber um, so I'm at BCA now I'm inside the car They've just uh, retrieved the car for me, so I just collected it from the barrier. Uh, the clutch and everything feels alright, but something is knocking the hell out of this car. I think it's maybe, you know, on the left wheel, the rear one, I don't know. It's coming from everywhere. Uh, I'm just going to go around the car quickly with you, um, just show you the car. I inside is a bit, it's better than expected. So let's have a quick look. There is, there's a scuff there. Honestly, the, the photos at BC are rubbish. Oh, it's been painted. Something, I don't know. Maybe I'll polish that out, hopefully. It's cracking the bumper, which I'm not worried about. Uh, there is something on this. I don't know what that is. side is not bad like the alloys back of the car is alright it's got a scratch there and there this was the bit I was worried about because I was not sure how big it is so I think someone tried to fix it or something I don't know but maybe I'll manage to some touch up paint i don't know because it's a, it's a cheap car so i won't be putting too much effort into it obviously i'm gonna get it sorted like mechanically um and all that probably gonna need the service because it says it's got low um oil level but i'm gonna check that in a second uh the alloys on this side are, are different color as you can see uh but i think after a good polish the car is gonna look it's gonna look nice. Let's have a look under the bonnet. I'm not sure if I can check the um, the oil level while holding the camera. I'm 
just going to show you quickly on the inside. That needs a good clean. The seats are okay-ish. So the car looks like it needs a lot of work. See the problem with the photos um, at the PCA, you can't really see the car properly. Because they are so dark and out of focus, you can't you can't you can't tell if the car looks alright or not. But I think they're doing that on purpose to be fair. Right, there's the engine. Dirty as fuck. Um According to the report, the coolant should be fine. The only bit was the the oil. Well, it does have some oil, not a lot, but I'm gonna I'm gonna check it properly in a second because I can't do it with uh, with one hand. I'm gonna need to clean that as well. Uh, and also, on the report says I need two. The rear ones, this one looks a bit like my head. Yep, definitely needs a tire. I'm probably gonna go straight to the straight to the workshop. From here, if they're not too busy, they'll probably get that done today, and then see what the knocking, where the knocking is coming from. Um, hopefully, it's not gonna be too expensive. I mean, on this car, it shouldn't be too expensive. So I'm gonna I'm gonna check the oil properly. Um, and then I'll update you if I stop on the way because uh, I definitely need to stop and grab some food um, but I'll update you about how the car drives the clutch feels alright which uh, was something I was worried about because normally on small cars um, you know they're used by new drivers and um, it's not the best but I'm sure I'm gonna, I am gonna. I can make this car look nice I like the colour it's like a dark purple um after I polish this out, it's gonna look, it's gonna look nice. But this doesn't look very nice. Oh yeah, let's see how it goes. It's gonna be a very, very cheap car anyway. Check the boob with you guys. This looks like it needs to be put back in place. But I got three gloves. Are they gloves or socks? No idea. But to be fair, I don't really want to touch those. It's got a spare wheel underneath, which is. Uh, which is good. As you can see guys I've made it back um, the car drives okay gearbox is fine clutch is fine the engine sounds okay um, I just checked the oil it's still in there which is a good sign um, but as you can see well, I, as you could hear earlier there's a knocking coming from this side um, so I stopped at the garage already and they booked me in for Monday morning well they said they're gonna squeeze me in so hopefully um, hopefully they'll be able to uh, to sort me out on Monday so I can put the car up for sale as soon as possible so I'll get a full um, 60 point inspe inspection check um, might put a fresh MOT on it I'm not sure that if I can if I can remember right the MOT expires in November which is plenty left um, but I'll see well I'll definitely need to paint that wheel to match that one and the ones on the other side and repaint this one because it's got all this well it's literally like the paint coming off so i need to get that sorted yeah but overall it was a good drive it was okay it was not bad um i would say better than i expected because well i'm gonna tell you in a second exactly how much i paid for it uh, 
this I can sort out with some touch-up paint but I think after I polish this car it's gonna look really nice it's gonna look lovely maybe redo this one because it's all scuffed so let's see let's see because I don't want to spend too much time on it because at the moment I need some cars in and out I need to sell them quick oh I didn't see this one I probably it's gonna pop back out how come I didn't notice this that's strange I'm sure it wasn't there I need to check the video to see right I'm just gonna go through the breakdown how much I paid for it in a second so for the car I paid 1098 pounds and that is including fees so basically I paid 850 pounds for the car the rest were fees for each 11 pounds it was the uh the check they're doing um which is good it's not bad the car retails for 27 if i can remember right and i was going to pay for the car 1400 uh without the fees which is good when i saw that it sold for 850 i was like yeah but it's not in the best condition the bodywork needs some work um which i'm sure i can sort it out myself without having to take it to the body shop to save some money and time because at the moment like i said i need cars in and out in and out in and out um to get my budget back up and then i can start you <laughs> right then i can start selling some better cars um like i was selling it last summer like more expensive cars because it's just easier um some of them were just coming in get it detailed get them checked by the garage and out the door um right the good thing about the car is it's got two keys uh which is a plus um i had to put a liter of oil in so the oil was low um i'm gonna do a service on the car as well um get the oil changed the filters and everything and obviously ask them to um to see if there is a leak but according to the last mot which was a couple of months ago um there are no leaks or anything so yeah let's see how it goes hopefully it won't cost me too much um even if that happens I, i've still got enough margin in the car um probably i'll put it out for less if i don't spend too much money on it um and sell it quick but at the moment, I've got an advantage because I've been looking for stock on um, Marketplace for a couple of weeks now. Um, and the only cars I find in my area, they are literally, literally dog shit. You're looking at 2005 cars up for 2K and they didn't even bother to get them cleaned. So I think I've got a little, a little bit of an advantage over there because... I can definitely feel the shortage it's not like it used to be like two years ago when i first started uh, my first few sleeves flips were from uh, marketplace um and i used to find cars very quick and easy with good margins in good conditions and all that but now it's it's a struggle so yeah i'm gonna prep this car i'll probably do a video on how i prep the car um or before and after by the way, um, I got a TikTok account as well. Um, I've just made that up today. If you want to follow me on TikTok, um, I'll be posting some short videos about the things I'm doing. Um, so, like I said, I bought another two cars, which is a Mini One. Uh, it's the 1.4 petrol, which I've heard is a lot better than the 1.6. Um, not sure about that, but if you know any common issues with those, let me know in the comment section below and i bought a citroen c1 now i normally don't buy like this kind these small cars and cheap cars because it's it's a lot more work it's a lot more headache with them but this time i really had to use the money i had to buy a couple of cars and then just grow the money back up which hopefully it won't take me too long um and hopefully i'll be back on track in a couple of months selling 7k cars yay so let's see how it goes um it's good to have a car in stock <laughs> and yeah now i'll be looking for something a car for myself i've managed to sell the insignia 
uh, which I had for like six months, but they, it's only been up for sale for like maybe six weeks altogether. Um, and I had somebody coming from quite far to to buy it because of the Euless zone. It was a diesel. But now I'm going to be looking for something for myself, something cheap and comfortable and good on fuel. It has to be automatic. So I'll, yeah, I'll probably buy from BCA. It's just that the reports, I'm not too sure about them. I'm not feeling as confident buying from BCA as I do feel like buying from Mannheim. It's just, I don't know, it's that customer service that Mannheim gives you. And in case there is an issue, um, they'll, they'll sort it out. They look after you. Uh, they look after the customers. Uh, when BCA, you know how big they are. They just like they don't really care if they lose you as a customer tomorrow that's fine there's another one uh not somebody else buying uh, the car so so yeah just a bit worried about their reports uh because obviously this one only had the the essential check and like i said previously he only said it's got low oil which he had and it needs two tires so two of the tires are low um so yeah i don't know probably after these flips i'll try and move up a little bit and buy um the cars that got the a short check um and hopefully they'll be better but yeah let's see how it goes hopefully it sells quick um so if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to be posting videos about the other two cars as well. Um, so stay tuned. Have a nice one. Bye.